Charles F. Kettering once said, I'm interested in the future because I'm going to spend the rest of my life there. Partners for Healthy Youth is also interested in the future, especially the future of our young people and what we can do together to help build that future and help them develop to their fullest potential. Our mission together is to build an asset-rich community to help meet the changing needs of youth and families in Kettering. We work on this mission by identifying a few key focus areas each year that we can work on together. And the way we figure out what those focus areas are are by asking our young people what they think and then bringing their feedback to people like you. Our goal? To figure out how we can all work together, both young and old alike, to make a positive difference for both the todays and the tomorrows of our youth. The Search Institute uh, has a research tool, a survey, that we, every five years, conduct here in Kettering. Uh, we talk to fifth, eighth, and tenth graders, and the survey is very scientific and asks them questions about the assets they feel they possess and the way they feel about the community, the neighborhood, the schools, the world around them. And those results give us a really great picture about how our youth are doing. The results showed that our youth needs were caring and supportive neighborhoods and community, mentors and adult role models, conflict resolution, boundaries and restraint, opportunities to serve. So we gathered members of the community to discuss the results and brainstorm actions that their organizations could take to address these youth needs. Piffy created initiatives that focused on character, mentoring, and youth service and leadership. The goal of the character program is to build character qualities that will help our youth make positive choices. Our Building a Community of Character initiative promotes and reinforces 12 character qualities that more than 1,000 Kettering adults and youth selected. Our youth hear a united message as these words of the month are used in schools, where they work and eat, at faith services, sporting events, and other places in the community. We don't use ex the exact same definitions that are being used in the school, but we try to come up with something a little catchy that they might really remember, whether it's in a little jingle or some sort of little mantra. And then we, um, <clears throat> we try to give them an opportunity to hear us talk about that. We have teenagers who come up and are a part of our worship, often with the kids, and they share where that's going on in their life and where they're really trying to work on those words. Children look up to teenagers. And so it's really good for the children to see and hear from a whole wide range of ages, but the teenagers seem to have a real impact on them. The goal of the mentoring program is to connect Kettering's youth and their families to strong resources, healthy adults, and programs that provide mentoring and other positive opportunities. A great example of one such program is Cops and Kids Camp, a collaboration between the Kettering Police Department, Juvenile Court, and the Kettering Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Arts Department. Kids that have had very minor infractions with juvenile satellite courts, what we do, we bring them back so that we can foster that relationship a little bit and give them an opportunity to give back to the community. So in turn what they do is they serve as counselors for us to interact with the elementary school children that we have in the camp. Cops and Kids Camp is actually an excellent mentoring opportunity for us at the police department to build relationships with these juveniles that have had these minor infractions with the law. And it's an excellent mentoring opportunity for these juveniles to work as counselors and to work with children that are much younger than they are and to build these relationships. I've had several young counselors who have come back as volunteers year after year because of their relationships with the adult mentors and their relationships they've established with the community. They've come back even once they've started college, they've come back as volunteers. The kids actually get many positive assets from the Cops and Kids Camp that we do each year. Uh, I kind of look at it from a uh, standpoint that there's several different levels of mentoring going on at this camp. Most of the time, the interaction between the police and these kids sometimes is a negative uh, type of thing. We want to turn this around and make it a very positive experience for the kids. Partners for Healthy Youth created several projects to address both the need for mentoring and opportunities for youth to serve their community. One such project is the Community Day of Service, which focuses on building relationships between adults and youth through service projects in our community. We get to work with them, they get to work with us and understand how each is approaching the project at hand. Our organization hopes that the youth 
will understand the importance of serving and giving back to the community. That it isn't just living somewhere, it's being part of the community and serving others. Well, it's uh, important for the older people like myself to be shoulder to shoulder with these young people doing things and they respect us, we respect them and uh, we learn some things from them, what's going on in their world, they learn some things from us. One of the assets we really focus on is like, I think it's number nine, service to others and helping other. We do lots of different little service projects. Everyone I know that's involved in the community service aspect of Partners Healthy just loves it. It's one of the best parts of my day, I know. Another component of youth service and leadership is the Kettering Youth Council which focuses on leadership and opportunities for young people to serve their community. The Kettering Youth Council is a group for all youth in Kettering that are in sixth grade or higher, and they can come do leadership opportunities, service projects, have fun. Sometimes there are opportunities when Partners for Healthy Youth can act as a catalyst to address community needs. One such need was the summer food service program. There was a need for a summer food program in Kettering that really popped up the summer two years ago when we found out an organization that used to provide lunches to some needy youngsters in Kettering wasn't going to be able to do it any longer. So a group from Partners for Healthy Youth decided, hey, we, we've got to shore this up, we've got to figure out how to do this. And we called on both the faith-based community, service clubs, and volunteers to establish our own food program. This program started off as being a lunch distribution program two years ago. Our first year, we served, I believe it was over 2,000 lunches. But uh, we decided during the summer that we need to do something different this year. We need to do more than just provide lunches to kids. We need to also give them an opportunity to become involved with adults, establishing relationships with adults, show that we do have a caring community that thinks about them. And uh, of course, with Partners for Healthy Youth being a big part of making this program happen, we never brought around any signs that said, here's the 40 development assets that we're really working on here. But it's pretty much implied what the kids and what the adults did get out of this program. One, of course, being the relationship with the kids, where in a lot of cases they don't have adult role models in their life, or they don't get the opportunity to see many other folks outside their own neighborhood. We surveyed our 5th, 8th, and 10th graders. Uh, the results of the survey showed that our youth in Kettering need positive family support and communication. They also need community that values youth and neighborhoods that care for and support their youth. Um, in addition, they also need life skills such as planning and decision making, uh, cultural competence, and also achievement motivation. It is because of people like you that this community has thrived so well. Kettering is becoming a rich asset building city. And it is in the little things, such as saying hi to a youth in your neighborhood, that build those assets, as well as the big things. Like in your business, the organization you belong to, we need you to help continue to build assets in Kettering. And we need you to help us create the next story of success. Let's do it together.